This video covers assembly for the 785 slider kit. For this project, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 764 inch hex key, and a 332nd inch hex key. The first step is to put the plastic feet together. To do that, you'll use the plastic feet as they are and the dual side mounts, and you'll screw those together using your quarter inch socket head screws. Now, when you put these together, you'll want to make it so that the flat side of the side mount is facing towards the, the top of the feet and the top of the feet would be, I mean, it's kind of like feet, so this flat side. This kit does have three different lengths of screws. Like I said, these are, for this step, you're using the quarter inch. You'll also have a set of 5 16 inch screws, which are slightly longer than these, and then a set of one inch screws, which are substantially larger or longer, that is, than any of the other two screws. So you'll do this step twice. I've already done it for the other one. So you have two sets of feet. And once you have those together, you're going to connect it to the channel. Again, you'll use the quarter inch socket head screws. Um, on one side of the channel, you're going to connect the feet to the very outside holes. And you'll do it so that the plastic is facing out. like so. And then on the other side of the channel, you're going to connect this set of feet to the second set of holes. All right, once we have that together, we're going to put on our spacers on the inside of our channel. And the spacers are going to go just on the inside, and they're going to run the four of them along the inside of the length of the channel. Um, Really, you can kind of put them wherever you want. It doesn't really change the operation. But I, so that it makes it kind of even, I'll go six of these big holes and then put one in the little hole right next to it and then another six and move on. The only catch to this is we need to have our belt so that it runs through on either side of these spacers. So before we put the spacers in, we'll need to just kind of lay our belt inside the channel and then fit each one of the spacers in between either side of the belt. And I'm not sure if I had already mentioned this, but this again uses the quarter inch screws. So once you get uh, screwed it on one side, go ahead and screw it on the other side as well. All right, once you have that together, your belt should be kind of stuck to the channel. It'll be able to move, but you won't be able to separate it. I'm going to put that off to the side, and next we're going to work on our servo. So next we'll use the 785 servo and we'll attach the set screw collar to that servo. It'll simply snap on over the output shaft and then we'll use a Phillips head screwdriver and servo screw to fasten that tightly in place. Okay. All right, next we're going to attach the servo plate to the servo. That'll go on so that the set of four holes is on the same side as the output shaft. And for this step, we're gonna use the 5 16 inch screws along with the uh, washers on each of the screws. So, you know, feed the washers onto the screws and then you'll attach the servo to the servo plate from the back. And this again will use your 17, 7 16 inch socket. Next, we'll attach these mounts here to the front of the servo. They'll go on along the side, so perpendicular with the servo. And these will use, from the back, they will use your uh, quarter inch screws again. We'll go back to those. Okay, so next we'll attach this to the main piece of channel. And if you remember when we put it together, we had one foot that was on the second set of holes and one foot 
That was on the first set of holes. The servo is going to connect to the side that had the foot. That was on the second set of holes. And you'll place it so that the output shaft just goes straight through here on the outside large hole. That's a, the half inch hole. And then it'll connect in four spots using, again, your quarter inch socket head screws. Okay, this kit has two links of D-shaft. For this step, we're going to use the longer of the two. And that's going to go through the other side of the channel and into attach to the servo. But before we fasten that in place, we're going to also feed it through a pulley and then in. And once you get that in, you can, uh, you can fasten that tightly in place using a 3 seconds inch hex key. And then you'll want to kind of align your pulley into about the middle of the channel before you go ahead and tighten that in place. Okay, and then once you have that in, you're going to use a ball bearing, and that'll go on to the other side, hold that in place, followed by a plastic spacer, and then finally you'll use your coupler here, and that'll keep that all nice and together. Okay, so for the next step, you will now be using the shorter of the two D-shafts. You'll start out by pushing the D-shaft through one of the pillow blocks until it is just flush with the outside. And then you'll put on two of the black plastic spacers. After that, you put on the pulley. And again, you'll kind of want to put that in the middle, but we can figure out where the middle is here in a little bit. Another of the two plastic spacers, and finally the last pillow block. Again, putting that on until it's just flush with the outside. And I went there and put it on a little too much. We can just pull it right back after you do that. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to put that so that it is on the inside of your pulley, or your belt rather, sorry. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll attach it to this black square piece of plastic. But before you do that, what you'll want to do is you'll get the longer bolt that comes with your kit, and that'll go through this square hole in the middle. And then you'll attach it so that the bolt is facing out away from the rest of the kit. And for this part, you're going to use the 5 16 inch screws. Okay, so once that's on, you're going to want to find the middle for your pulley, and you'll fasten that in place, tightening it with the, again, the 3 seconds inch hex key. And next, you'll slide the quad hub mount. Uh, there's a side that has a hex pattern, and then the side that's just a circle. Uh, put that so that the hex pattern is facing towards the black square. That'll go in, and then you have this little tightener. This is what you'll use to tighten the, the, the tension on your belt. And just put that on just a little bit because you really want to give yourself as much slack as you can for now. And when that's together, it'll all slide down here in the middle of the channel. And then your quad hub mount will just bolt in there again using your 5 16 inch screws.
All right, next we're going to put together the actual slider that slides along the channel. Uh, look at your plastic pieces and you'll see that there's one side that has two indentions on it, and then there's another side and all it has is kind of like a quarter circle on it. Um, we'll start out and we'll attach, we have the quad up mount C, and that'll go onto the side that has your quarter circle. And again, you'll face that so that your, uh, your hex kind of shape faces towards the inside there. And this part uses uh, quarter inch screws. All right, next, the, the other piece, it'll go on the top here. All right, next we're going to attach this to the final piece, and we'll start out by using this little guy here, and it's going to fit onto your channel or onto your belt so that if your belt, you have all these little teeth, it should fit, this hole should go, have two teeth just inside of it. And then you'll have a spacer here that'll go on. And that will screw on from the bottom using two of the 5 16 inch screws. And don't be afraid to tighten this. You're going to have a little bit of resistance on it. But you can go ahead and tighten it so that the two metal pieces are flush with each other. Once that's on, you'll finally use your one inch screws. And they'll go in here into the, the non-tapped holes. And those will go through, again, the non-tapped holes here on the top. And they'll slide all the way through. And just a matter of screwing those in place. Then once you have that together, it uh, just kind of snaps there onto the channel. And then you can tighten this up until you have the tension just the way you want it which will end up pretty much being about as tight as you can get it. And there you go. That is how you put together the 785 channel slider kit. If you have any questions about this project, go ahead and contact us at tech at servocity.com. Don't forget to hit the like button, and be sure to subscribe to this channel to see more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.